Um, the way I met uh, the Nicolosi uh, uh, family was uh, through a very good friend of, of, of mine, and uh, actually Clara Selina, a very close friend of our family, and and uh, and her 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 man uh, Alejandro Orellana, who prevented us presented us with these people with the connection to the Nicolosi family, who helped me to distribute some of my product. Uh, I have recordings with Kenny Barron and Ron Carter, The Art of Three, The Art of Five, yeah, you know, the, uh, yeah, North by Northwest, all these kind of things. And I also was able to um, to uh, collaborate with Nicolosi then on, in, in a few projects, namely Drum and Voice, you know? Uh, yeah, yes, I guess, yeah, it's been a while. The very first one, maybe two. I don't know, God, good grief! It's 2007 already, <laughs> and now you know it's it's funny because since through all of this comes from the art of. It's always been a fascinating thing to document. For me, it was a series of 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 projects where you documented the classic jazz configurations, right? And out of this came world music, and and now I have a film called the Sonic Mirror, and. Uh, yeah, with Mika culture Korosmaki mix. and Culture Mix, my band, and so there's so many things going on that uh, Listen, we're, we're doing before. good. Dennis Chambers was talking about why doesn't Billy Cobham come back to the States? We need him back. Uh, the reason why Billy Cobham is not back in the States is because he hasn't been invited and he hasn't been made a proper offer. And that's the reason why Billy Cobham is not back in, back in the States. I can't work for free, you know, and the United States is such a rich rich environment, so many different artists and um, I mean I've heard of I heard stories just in New Orleans alone where you can go to any street corner and hear hear ten bands or bands are working for like ten dollars or a man for one show and then they switch and to a new band, you know? So if it's a if it's a, a band, ten piece band, it's a hundred dollars. And the guy said to me, he said, Wow I just played one gig, they, they, they hired us for one one show, switched the bands, and I had to pay $12 to, to put my car in the parking lot. Go figure. And that's the amount of, that's how rich the country is in, in U.S. in artists. It's just overflowing with so many people, and they're all fighting for the same turf. And then there's the rest of the world. So... Somebody tell me what's going on. I noticed this evening you were playing a lot of bass, double bass. Yeah, uh-huh. No, that's what I do. That's what I do. It depends on the music, you see. Absolutely. You know, this, 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 this group in this, inspires me in this way. And we, this is our third concert live. So talk to me about this in about a year. You know, because a band, a band's not a band as far as I'm concerned. And then we play 365 concerts, accumulatively. So that may be in a few, you know, that we're going to change and change and change as we continue to get used to who, uh, our, our small little idiosyncrasies. It's just the way it is, you know. And so hopefully I will be around to, to be able to contribute uh, uh, to, this, to this situation, this musical platform. And, uh, I'll be happy to be here. Yeah. If you were to pick uh, between uh, single rolls, double rolls, paradiddles, uh, multi, poly, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. what would you recommend to drummers in general? Play the right, studying. yeah, play the right note that fits at the right time, and you'll always have a job. <laughs> you say the right words, you get, you get the gig. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I was thinking is, uh, there was a wonderful recording. The Windsor Arms Hotel, is it still there? The Windsor? Of course it is. Man, you don't know how many... We go back. We go back to those... The, back in the day. Back in the day. Can you imagine a, a collaboration, a meeting of... I mean, I just happened to be at this meeting with Belushi, Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd. It's all Second City. You were talking about... I was in Serrano in 1978. You weren't around then, though. Uh, well, no. I'm a 68. You, yeah. But yeah, so you were just, you know, we won't go there. We won't go there. We won't go there. Can you sign me these two? Sure. I took but you know, the internet. You know, we were doing, we were just hanging there at, you know, eat, having des just desserts down the street, you know. On St. Catharines, we were just grooving. St. Catharines? Yeah, right. You know? Yeah.
Well, Toronto's waiting for you, I can tell you that much. Oh, I'd love to, yeah. I haven't played Toronto in years, man. I took this with your silver drums. I haven't played Tama since 1978. 1987. Why that's right. Oh, they, they stopped paying me. You know how about that is, right? You know? Uh, here I am for ABC. Yes. Okay, now you're with CNN. What happened? Well, they stopped paying me. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, man, no problem. <laughs> Uh, no, we can't do it now because we have to catch a bus to get the right, you know, so that, I forget, yeah, now that you brought it up, I'm oh, sorry, I never thought about it, you yeah. know, you can't point that at me, you know, that's artistic, <laughs> but that's okay, that's all right, <laughs> no problem, no problem, okay, great, thank you so much, it's a pleasure.